What's up guys? I'm here with IFBB Pro Brett Wilkins. We're at Revive Gym in Stewart, Florida. We're gonna be hitting a full legs day uh, with Brett today. Um, Brett, how do you typically split up your legs workouts for the week? So yeah, like I said, I'm you know, lucky, lucky enough to have Matt come down here a few times, already put you through a back day. So yeah. kind of understands how I set things up, especially with philosophies of training, intensity involved in execution. So today we're gonna hit our round two of workouts together, plus posing at the end. So I'll show you some tricks and trades there. Yep. Today we're gonna be doing some legs. So I wanna show them uh, what a normal leg session looks for me. Today is actually my second leg day of the week, technically, because I start on Sunday. Um, so today's Thursday, so I'll do them every three to four days. So I like to hit legs twice a week. That's a bigger body part. You need to be hitting more often, more frequency, um, especially trying to bring them up. And you can never have big enough legs. So that's something I'm trying to teach him is, you know, hit them hard, hit them often. Um, today will be, it's how I'm doing it right now is I'm actually hitting both. I know some people like to split it up, which I've done in the past, where you do a hamstring day and a quad day if you're doing, you know, two legs days a week. I'm actually kind of hitting both hams and quads each session twice a week. So um, we'll do a few different kinds of cur curl variations today for leg curls, for hamstrings. Um, we'll do like, some heavy hacks, um, maybe some single legs, split squats to really isolate those legs. Um, we'll finish off with something fun here today. So again, this is more, again, he hasn't, you know, Matt's still getting into this bodybuilding kind of thing, getting used to the training that's involved to level you up at a faster rate. So that's why I'm here, man. He like, he's, He's, you know, he's taking that step to come train with some of the, you know, I mean, I would say one of my leg days are one of the harder ones you can do. And he's taking that leap, driving three hours or two hours to get here. I'm willing to learn. And so we're going to teach him. He's going to soak it in. He's going to use it. So let's get after that and have some fun. Yeah, man. And Brett's style is like hypertrophy, progressive overload, top sets, moving really heavy weight intelligently. So not just like pushing weight, but getting good contractions, really making the muscle grow. So clearly it's worked for him under this. 4XL t-shirt is an Olympia level physique. He's already qualified for the Olympia this year. Uh, can't wait to see you on stage. A lot of big things for you this year. You got a baby on the way, so yeah. it's a big year for Brett. Yeah, but you're first, man. We got you, you got a few weeks out, so we had yep. six we weeks get, out. You gotta get you ready. So yeah, legs day and then posing afterwards if I can still stand. Uh, yeah, we'll, so, uh, we'll, see, we'll see how that turns out. I think uh, I've seen I think, <laughs> I've seen his YouTube videos from his legs day. He's definitely gonna test my bitch factor today. Yeah. Um, so let's see if I'm still standing afterwards. Let's All get right. to it. Let's go. Yep. Mainly, like I said, stretch you out, get volume, get blood in there first right. to get everything stretched out. You don't want to just go straight into the right. squats or something like heavy leg press. So this is going to be really just getting activation going. Well, I like to build up the inside of your leg while you're fresh um, because we all could use more inner leg. We, you know, right. Everything we do is we're trying to get outer sweeps, bigger sweeps, bigger quads. Uh, people need to realize that you also need to have a ductor muscle on the in inside of your leg right. to create that illusion that your legs are bigger. So right. we get them early, we get them hard, and then we move on. Okay? Awesome. Practice it. He's going to pop it. Uh, my dad is It's basically torture. So. You guys did great. You guys didn't complain at all. I'm like, damn, he tested their like, their bitch factor and there was nothing. There was no complaining. I mean, the first couple of times I definitely bitched a little bit, but I think you get a little used to it over time. So. Yeah, you guys picked up the torture. Yeah. I was impressed. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. It was nice to like, get a little preview. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So last time I was here, uh, Brett's biggest feedback for me was that I wasn't breathing. I was just like grunting and like not timing my breaths to actually help my, my reps. And when you breathe out at the wrong point, you actually lose all the energy for that motion. So like you mentioning that helped me really fix right, that. So we, we talked about focusing on like breathing out on the contraction. So like, you know, easiest way to think about it is like doing to put a bench press or a squat. So you're going down, you're loading it, right? Your eccentric portion, you're breathing in. And then you, you blow out and explode. Yeah. So it actually helps the rep too. When you what you're doing is you're taking a lot of short breaths. Yeah, I was doing like, you're doing and then you're and what helps is also you're wiggling. And it around was like and, exhausting, man. That wasn't yeah, moving weight. You so. were yeah, you're tiring yourself out just through your breathing principles. Yeah. So you can actually extend your sets, you can have better workouts if you just learn the principles of breathing yeah. as well. Yeah. So that one tweak alone is game changer. One more for me. See me we're gonna run this one. So meaning the top set. So okay. we're gonna go yep. along here. So we'll go until you can't go anymore. Let's see how you're here. 
that it? Yep. Come on. Ah. Uh, yep. Oh. Still there. Ah. Uh, jab, 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 jab. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Two more there. Yep. Ready? Oh yeah. Go. One more. Go. Uh. There we go. So I got you. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Ah, damn. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Felt that. Yeah, I was walking around the cricket. Oh, you need to push? Yeah, push. One, two, three, yep. Yeah. Me, yeah. Let's go, breath. Take deep. Come on. Let's squeeze. <coughs> 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 Keep going, Brett. <coughs> I'm with you. Keep going. <coughs> Keep going. Let's go. <coughs> Come on, Brett. That's you. Yep. <coughs> One more. There you go. One more. Yep. Seated here, okay? Yep. So, warm up the hamstrings because we're going to do some hacks next. Yep. We want to make sure we loose at least through the hamstrings first. And we'll focus on quads to warm those up next. But um, just seated, I think this is probably the best. Honestly, leg curl you can probably do. I know there's all the variations the single leg, the line. Um, overall, for thickness, I think it's seated just because you're driving into this pad. Yeah, you can actually. So, think, drive those quads up into the pad and squeeze down at the same time. Okay. Think of your hamstring almost as like a bicep, you know what I mean? It's your lower leg, right. or it's your, your lower arm of your bicep, lower. right? So you're here, so you're driving into the pad and squeezing up, so creating that curl, right? Okay. So doing opposite, just think upside down here. So pulling down and go as far as you can, yep. as tight, squeeze at the bottom. Full range, squeeze at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Working up to a top, two top sets, probably. Okay. So we don't want to. We don't want to. I don't want you to do too much here on the warm ups. All right. So we're not going to like failure. Just feeling it, know where we're at, and then we'll run as hard as we can. Okay. Cool. I think we need, let's do one more touch here. Okay. What's up? Is this rep scheme typically how you train? Or? Yeah, I would say so. Do you work up to like top sets or like? Yeah, I do. Maybe do like two or three just to like get the blood flowing, get the muscle like prepared for, and then like. Kill it for two. You do like two top sets, right? Yeah, 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 yeah at least two. At least two. But usually two. Yeah. Or working sets, we call them. Yeah. at the bottom, it's all in the negative, or are you more focused on just like getting that way to move? Yeah, you want to make sure you're getting the full contraction always, yep. Yeah, so just as far as... Okay. Me, hip. Yep. Yep. Good. All the way up. 
Let's get two more. Go. Go. Uh. Uh. One more. Uh. Uh. Yep, yep. Ooh. Finish, 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 finish. Control back up. Oh, yeah. up. All the way to the top. Damn. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that felt good. Then we do an all-out set like this, and then usually like, no matter what the program says, we usually back off, which is like, like next we'll shoot for like 12, 12 to 15 reps. That's our leg day, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Have a good one. I'm sweating enough already. Yeah. Jesus. stance here to be as low as we can okay. without our heels coming up. Okay. What, what we try to do is grow your quads. We want to create flexion over the knee, okay? okay. So a lot of people don't realize that they just want to like squat or rest in their right. ass. There's a way to isolate your quads more. So when you come down, really let your quads go forward. Okay. Kind of like create this almost like an angle like that, you know? Yep. Hamstrings coming down your calves okay. and spring back through. But we want to keep our feet low. And we don't want to, I don't want you to open your knees, just keep them pretty centered. Okay. okay. So kind of like right to chest. Yeah, you go a little, a little out. Not, okay. Not way out. So my range gets kind of crunched when I'm like real too close? Yeah, okay, cool. As low as you can, I need to go a little lower. Oh, you mean on the squat? Yeah, I think mean on your feet. Um, <laughs> right about there. Yeah, okay. yeah. You don't necessarily need the body. Yeah, 
Who? Okay, so we have to do these next two sets. Oh man. Good. Perfect reps. We are now? Yeah, okay. are. Cool. I want you to run this. <laughs> I think this will be it. Eight to ten here, okay? Yep. Come on. Good. Big out. Load. Load. Get out. I want you to back off. Huh? Huh? Oh. 
Two good top sets. I think we're just, the goal of today is to teach them what true failure is. So when you go until your muscle gives out, not your brain. You know what I mean? Not your. the bands and some quad extensions today um, just because it, it helps keep tension throughout the entire exercise so all the way at the top it's the hardest but the good part is you have to fight it down because it's pulling it back down um, you don't have to add as much weight so not as much pressure on your knees just a lot more pressure on the muscle okay so banded leg extensions for maximum maximum feel maximum growth perfect maximum pump right now <laughs> you stay forward or you stay back uh, uh, just up right there that's it yeah I like that band. It's yeah. good on the negative. Yeah. yeah, you can't like you can't cheat it, you can't swing, it's just like that constant tension is really good. After like a hardcore top set like that, it's just kind of like a, a back off. See, I've usually, what I always used to do when I was doing my own program was I'd do these before, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now, like, he switched it up and they're doing the heavy hacks first, you know, top weights there. Yeah. And then now we're already really full and you're tired, so it's about squeezing these reps out. Okay. I kind of like it because you don't have to go as heavy here, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just you feel the contraction so much more. Yep. So it's good to kind of place this right behind because we're already taxed. Uh, muscles are full of blood, so now it's more about the detail work, you know, extending up, holding it to the top, yeah. things like that. I would usually start with this, but I find it's much more effective doing it now because, like, my muscles are full. <laughs> can't even fucking move shit. Oh, man. I just hobbled over to the water fountain. People staring at me like, is this dude all right? No, I'm not all right. <laughs>
12. Fuck. Two more. One more. Oh, man, that was three. Damn. Damn. Gonna be walking all kinds of funny. The drive, I'm gonna the drive back, that would be fucking brutal. I can call an Uber back to Miami. Okay, so I want you to go to failure here again. 12, somewhere around there, 12, 15. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take two off. Just finish them off. Okay? Just keep going. Yep. Three. Two. One more. Big one out. Yeah. Yeah. Just like hiding it well or something? I mean, this is every session, you know, I'm used to it. Yeah? I mean, yeah, obviously it's taxing, but you build up over time, right? Yeah. So, you, I mean, if you keep training like this, you'll just get better, you know, yeah. more efficient, more efficient. Don't get me wrong. At the end of our workouts, when we get done, it, right? oh, bro, we're like, yeah. you're picking me up off the ground. Oh, you know what I mean? Just making sure. You're doing good. Okay. You're not used to this. All right. We're moving heavy weights for high, you know, for solid reps. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's different. Like, people don't train like this. You know? Yeah. This is true the bodybuilding style of training. Year round, like whether you're on contest yeah. prep or off season, this is what you. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's that strength will maybe decrease during contest prep, but we still train the same. Yeah. It's not get varied up because you want that dense, hard, thick muscle. You know what I mean? Right. You only get that from training heavy. Training yeah. heavy and hard. You know. Not the flu I mean, obviously, when you get to two weeks out, cut way back. Yeah. Just more about you know touching up in detail and getting reps in and volume in, right. but until then you're still heavy and hard, you know. Yep. You got more. Eight. Yep. 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 Right into it. Let's go. Eight. Good. Wrap it up. My soul over in that corner. Oh man, you know this feeling, right? Oh, I know exactly. Like at the end of his workouts, where you're just like your soul left your body three sets ago. You have no idea what's left, and you're just kind of you turn your brain off and let your body work. It's almost easier towards the end because it is easier. You're not thinking about yeah, it yeah. anymore. I'm having zero thoughts right now. I'm just moving. I have no idea what's. I, going. When I see that you're not. So we're, we're we're pretty tired here. We're pretty full of blood. So 
Hardest part's gonna get a full contraction here. Okay. So I'm gonna help you every once in a while get to the top. Okay. So let you go as high as you can. Just a little assistance at the top to really squeeze. Okay. So you feel my hands, it's just me helping you just a little bit. Okay, okay. so should I hold at the top for like a well, I mean, just squeeze? Like you do, yeah, normal? Just squeeze it. Okay. Good. Uh. Uh. You working, you're good, you're good. Get in it now. Uh. Good, stay in it. Drive your hips to the pad. Uh. Only hands, only hands, only hands. Good. Uh. Couple more, couple more. One more after this. Be perfect, be perfect. Uh. Uh. Big through. Uh. There we go. Uh. <laughs> it's a full ring. Full ring. <laughs> Come on, get that. All the way up. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> One more. Fight, fight. There you go. Oh, man. I mean, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh man, that ain't right. Effective? It's effective. And <coughs> more! <coughs> oh, fall! Holy smokes! Yeah, it felt good. I mean, a lot of people neglect the negative, so. When you fight on that last one, it just gives you half the motion. So don't leave half your workout on the table. Get your negatives. Eat your vegetables. Get your negatives. Yep. I need you. Fuck! Uh. Eight, two more. Uh. Uh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Damn, it's just 25 pound <laughs> plate. It's alright, it's all you need right now. It ain't pretty. So I always use like a little weights to provide the most humbling sets. Yeah. I got no words. No words. <laughs> My brain is off. I'm just pushing weight. Yep, yep. Ah. Ah. 
Come on, fight. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. There's like no comfortable position. It doesn't exist. Okay, so like we said, we wanted to. So we're gonna finish with something that tests your bitch factor. So he wanted to finish strong. So we're doing some um, single-legged split squats here in the Smith machine. So you have your back foot is up on a bench, um, and you're putting the pretty much majority of your weight through that front leg, loading that outer quad. You're getting some glute near. You're getting some hamstring. This is just a great movement, especially at the end, because we're super tired from the heavy weights we've done today. Um, so it's all about you're using those stabilizers, you're balancing it, and you're controlling the weight through the muscle. So really gauge this out. Like I said, he's only doing the quarter aside. That's all you really need. So we're going about 12 to 15 reps each here, and they're just brutal. So finish them off. Make sure you're leaving the gym fucking waddling out of here. Um, that's the goal on leg day, because you know he did something right. So let's finish here. It's our last set of the day, so we're going to make it our best one. Brett's full legs day. It was like a two hour workout. Crazy. But uh, that should give us some growth. It's worked for Brett, it should work for me, so. Let's see. I got no words. <laughs> Nothing in my brain right now. It's just the day at the office. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, we are posing afterwards, so he is competing in six weeks. Yep. So he, this is his first show, so he's learning the ropes of posing. We've done one session together and went over all the basics, so that's where we're at. And then the last, was that three weeks ago, right? Yeah. Last three weeks, he's been practicing on his own. So I told him to do his homework. He filmed everything we did. He knows the basics of the quarter turns, the mandatories, all the poses you need to know. Um, but then it's more so you just getting comfortable with that, which comes from practice, right? So anything you want to get better at, you need to practice. And so that was his homework these last three weeks was to practice, practice, practice. Um, and I know he has because he sent me pictures and videos and stuff, but 
We are getting back together now to kind of go over things, make sure he's doing exactly what we talked about last time, um, and then we're gonna kind of try to level him up today with the, some different some drills. So this is gonna be tough because his legs are so full and he's tired, but this is what bodybuilding is, especially when you get closer to the show. It's about doing those things, doing things when you're very uncomfortable, um, you know, just digging deep here when you need to. And, you know, if you can pose right now after a leg session, you can pose on stage. So here we go. Nice. Then the knees just a little bit squat in, just a little bit butt back, butt back, butt back. There you go. There's those legs. I know they're just full. Quarter turn. That was good, man. Good job. Quarter turn. Squat down, squat down. Weight on your toes, weight on your toes. Hamstrings. Yep. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the chest. Lift your arms a little bit. Oh. There you go. Core turn. Don't stay so long to do that. Drop that front arm. Front arm. Drop it? Your, your left arm, your front arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn, keep turning across the body. Keep turning across the body. Keep turning right there. Just go right in the front. Side chest. <sighs> lift it, lift it, lift the chest. Good. Fill it up, fill it up. Stay tall. Deep down the shoulders. Good. Hold me back, switch. Hold me back. Come towards me. Good. Right there. Much better, man. Put your own chest even out a little better. Back to the bicep. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze them underneath you, tuck them underneath you. Chest up, elbows through, right there, good. Oh. Relax, back lap. Big chest, 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 chest. Feel that elbows more, 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 more. Oh. And relax. Face me. Side tricep. I don't think that one's hitting yet. No, we're not doing that. Most okay. Time. Yeah. Like it takes me a minute to like settle into the pose. It should be like set. Yeah. I'm still trying to like, I'm like wiggling. It shouldn't be like that. And plus, I won't have a mirror on stage, so I have to know in my head like where my body's at. And when you get closer, like you're like two weeks out and within, I take the mirror away, just start practicing in front of a phone. You know what I mean? Okay. And you go back and look at it, but yeah, you guys are practicing. So. All right, we did it. We survived the full legs day with Brett. We did some posing afterwards. Showed him where I'm at three weeks after I saw him last. So I'll be back here in like probably three weeks, and we'll do it again. Yeah. And just uh, keep polishing, improving, and getting ready for the show day. So, thank you, Brett. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate you guys. It's a good yeah. time today. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I think we learned something today. We learned, <laughs> we learned you can always train harder. You know what I mean? Like, even me, you know, you got to get those humbling experiences, especially like, you know, what we did today. You thought you were done at eight, but we turned it into 12 somehow. So, yeah. continuing to do that in your own training by yourself is going to be huge. Um, and then just, you know, fine tuning the posing. So, awesome. it's going to be, I'm, you know, I'm excited for you in here in six weeks. You're going to have a great, you know, debut. Um, you just got to get the confidence now. So, confidence yeah. comes with practice. Keep right. practicing. You know, keep practicing with your training as well. 
you just feel more and more confident, and you're going to show it on the stage. So awesome. excited for you, bro. We'll see you in a couple it. weeks. We'll do it again. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it.